Behind the Candelabra, the HBO film stars Michael Douglas and Matt Damon as Liberace and his much younger lover. It debuts at the Cannes Film Festival next week, but here's a sneak peek. I've been playing this boogie woogie at eight beats to the bar. I'd like to try playing it now at 16 beats to the bar. movie's incredible. We're going to talk to the stars of the film at Cam. But this morning, the man behind it all, executive producer Jerry Weintraub. Welcome back, Jerry. Great to see you. Thank you, George. Great to see you. Now, you have done it all. You've had so many blockbusters, the Karate Kid movies, all the Oceans movies. You know, you've been in this business, you know, seems like forever. It has been forever. <laughs> but you think this is the movie that people are going to remember. I really do. It's, it's so different. And as Gordon Van Sorda told me, who comes out of your business mm -hmm. and your world, it's a, I showed it to him and he said, this is very bold. And so I, I do. I think it's a picture that... It, there's no question it is bold. It kind of takes your breath away yeah. uh, as you're watching it. And I saw that Michael Douglas said that he couldn't imagine if he were Matt Damon's age, he would have had the guts to play this part. Was it hard to get them to do this? No. It was easy. I had a great script by Richard LaGravine. Mm -hmm. I had a great director in Soderbergh. And these two guys came on and they went full out for it. They just went for it. And it wasn't easy to do. And for Matt to do it, at, he's at the peak of his career. Michael is also again now at the peak of his 18th career. He's, he's older, so it's easier for him to say yes to something like this. But for Matt, it's a big step. But he did it, and he did a great job. In fact, the first scene that we shot, Soderbergh was on the camera, and I was sitting at my monitor. And I, it, it, the scene was uh, Matt coming out of the swimming pool right. in a very brief little bathing suit. He got out of the swimming pool. Oh, that's pool. the one where he's wearing the bathing suit. Okay. He's wearing the bathing suit. <laughs> Comes out wearing the bathing suit. He looks fantastic with this blonde hair. And Michael's lying in a caftan next to the pool. And Matt gets out and he walks towards, walks towards Michael. Michael says, come to me, my Adonis. And he lays down on top of Michael. They start kissing each other and really kissing each other. And by the way, Michael said it wasn't hard to do. And he put his hands on uh, Matt's on behind. <laughs> and Matt was moving up and down and kissing him. And I said, oh, my God, what did I do? These are my friends. What did I do? And I got up, and I looked to my left, and there was a woman standing there. I took my headsets off, and it was Matt's mother. And I said, uh-oh, what did I I'm in trouble. And I said, am I okay? She said, that was beautiful, Jerry. That wow, was a beautiful okay. scene. So Seal I said, I'm here. I'm home. <laughs> and you actually knew Liberace. Very well. Yeah, he was a fantastic guy. He, I knew him in Vegas. And I know him in Los Angeles. He was a great host and a really nice guy. He lived a tortured life because he lived at a time when, if you were gay and homosexual, you could not come out of the closet. Had to pretend he was dating Sonia Henney. Well, he, he talked about <laughs> Sonia <laughs> Henney. I don't think he ever dated her. No, he, pretended. He pretended. Yeah, he talked about it. <laughs> yeah, he did. And, and, and so flamboyant, we see all the costumes yeah. right here. But you just saw in that clip as well, he could really play. Oh, yeah. He was a great great pianist. He didn't care about it much. That's not what drove his life, but that's what made him his money. He was a great pianist, but he was flamboyant. He was Lady Gaga and Madonna and Elton John before they were born. Yeah. You know. And now what is this you're bringing here? These are, well, Nike is, Nike's been very nice to me over the years, and they made me these sneakers for Cannes. These are the uh, French, the colors of the French uh, flag for 2013 Cannes. And these are uh, Liberace-inspired <laughs> tuxedo sneakers, one of a kind. And these are ones to walk around with all day, can 2013. And it's, uh, his st saying is in here, too much of a good thing is wonderful, Liberace. Liberace and I perfect. agree with that. <laughs> well, you, and you've lived it, Jerry. I've lived Thank that. Thank you. Have fun at Can Behind the Candelabra premieres May 26 on HBO. We've got all the stars headed to GMA soon. Michael Douglas, Matt Damon, Rob Lowe, all coming up.